Hi! This video is called Crazy Pages. It's a collaboration with Elias Art and is um, a group of nine of, no, ten, ten of us? Ten of us, yes. Ten of us will be uh, doing a swap. It's called Crazy Pages and pretty much we do what we want to do as long as it's uh, on paper and it's something that we're you know each individual likes to do and and is feels they're, they're good at and um it's a collaboration and we will be sending the pages to each other making videos and all that good stuff and uh already got three of them in the mail today so i'm a little behind so i i've been thinking and thinking and thinking and i i, I just didn't know what to do so this time around and this is my second time. This time around, I decided to do the the unicorn papers that uh, Shannon Green has done on her videos, and and I copied hers a long time ago, and it really came out good. I'm deciding to go with some neutral, not not neutral, but natural colors, kind of tone down a bit maybe um i'm gonna go with the winter white yellow ochre this midnight garden which is a dark blue and the berry wine which is a dark red um kind of on the purplish side all these are folk art paint i want to try to keep it as simple as possible now i also might put in some of this faded jade which is like a um, celadon green type or this forest moth moss all right so how do i do the unicorn papers uh i have a video of that already which came out pretty good this is a, a piece of silicone mat that i bought at hobby lobby is in the baker's aisle it tore i stretched it too much but i love putting paint on this thing because it's easy to clean up and I got a little rough with it, so I threw that part away. Just got tore up. It's no biggie. They're they're pretty cheap. They're six ninety nine each, and with the coupon, you you know you get them about four bucks. Yeah, something like that. So anyway, unicorn papers. Yeah, unicorn papers. Let's see. We're gonna start with yellow, and I chose folk art um, craft paints because I find they are the best quality as far as uh, craft paints go. They're a little bit more pricey than your average, than the other one. I think Anita's is probably the cheapest, but we're good. So what I'm gonna do, uh, do a rainbow of colors and um, yellow is to me the friendly color. It goes well to just about anything. So I'm going to put a yellow and red and blue on this side and my plan is to put warms and, and cools. So here we go. Oh wait, the green actually, I'm going to try this moss green. I'm not going to use the faded jade, which is like a celadon green, unless it gets too dark and I need it. So we're going to put this in there. So you put a big wallop, almost touching each other of that. And then, of course, blue and yellow, I mean green, blue and yellow makes green. That's why green is in the middle of my blue which is going to be right there and this is really almost like a turquoise but it's a pretty blue and uh, on this end I'm gonna put the winter white there all right so that is my rainbow of colors and well at this is my splot of colors and this is where the rainbow part comes in and this is uh 11 and a half uh 11 by eight and a half cardstock 
just regular cardstock. It's not the extra heavy one, but it's, it's a good enough weight to do multiple types of projects with. And I thought it'd be good. I'm gonna make 10 papers, although we'll be passing out nine, because just because I want one for me. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do, now you could do this with a putty knife, a painter's knife, and the best thing actually is, is a credit card type, which, oh, here, do I have one? Yes, get my Kato's card. This, this is, works better. All right, so what you do is you, let me see, start with these colors. You, you tap and squish it down on top of the paint and drag the paint down, all right? And then you wipe it off on the paper. Now, I didn't pick up enough paint, you can see. So I'm gonna do that again. Just squish the paint down and slide it down. Uh, this paint's a little bit thicker than your average paint. And you just slop it on your paper like that. Okay make sure my card is nice and clean and I'm gonna to go to this side and pick up with the yellow red and white and slop it on make sure this is on the camera yeah okay everything is in focus so here we go some more Gotta pick up enough paint for this. It's been a while since I've done this, you can tell. <laughs> but I like the effects it causes, and you can scrape some of it off. All right, now, oh, dig it. Put this aside. All right. So far I got that. I think I need a little bit more of the yellow, blue, and green. Maybe like right here. I'm scraping it. So I want this paint kind of thin. I don't want it to dry too lumpy. Just because I want to do other stuff on top of it. I don't like it so far. The only thing that, for some reason, that blue is not coming out very blue. It's more of a turquoise. Let's see. I have navy blue here. Let's try the navy. Navy blue, I'm going to put over here on this end. Let's see how that looks. Mix it with the white. Maybe a little bit too much. Okay. That looks good. So I'm going to let this dry and go on to my next paper. And just keep doing that until I have my papers. Products. Now, when the video I saw Shannon do, she used the actual rainbow colors. Started with the yellow and then went over to, you know, orange and red and then green and blue and white. And she also had pink and she had all the colors and it's, it's really pretty. All right, so I have more blue down and I'm going to pick up some of this yellow and red. Concentrate on the yellow and red. Just 
kind of crisscross it and whoop. now if that's not a crazy paper hey I hope the girls like it I'm so excited this time around we have Miss Chelsea doing the uh, collaboration and I'm her biggest fan yeah <laughs> no really she, oh my gosh her stuff is so awesome love all her videos and that's probably more more reason why I've been procrastinating because it's like I want to do something fabulous but then again you know it's, it's fun it's just for fun okay pick up the red and yellow not all the papers are going to look the same because of the different different ways I'm picking up the paint now here I'm going to pick up some more of this green Try to cover up mostly all the white background. Oh, I like this. It's cool. Yeah, a little bit right here. Like I said, I'm scraping pretty well on there. You know, it's going to have some raised areas, but that's okay. Looks cool. This is still on line. It's like this one tends to move down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Really like the way that last one came out. And I have started with the blue and the white. Mm. I have to add some more paint to these. paint time running out of the white which this is not stark white this is winter white which would be an off-white color or you could also use titanium buff it's really good um which I don't have I, I have one in the golden but I didn't want to use that it's like let me see what is this oh this is an antique parchment this one's nice too you can use the uh this one's Apple Barrel. And this Midnight Garden. Some more blue. And the red goes right there in the middle, which is this berry wine. It's more of a burgundy red. All right. Now I'm gonna try this one too. This uh this actually works pretty good also. Oh, I forgot the yellow. Used up all my yellow. There we go. Yellow. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a good pickup. And then some of this green. And yellow. Bring down the white and the blue.
And this is uh, a method that, uh, like I said, I learned it from Shannon Green. I mean, she, she claims she didn't uh, make anything up. <laughs> but she's the only person I've seen do this. Well, the backs are going to have some paint on them, which, no biggie. And she did it for the purpose of doing the journaling by fives, which is a fast method of starting art journals when you don't know what you're doing or you don't know where to begin. And you just cover the papers with this as a background. And that was pretty much my case this time around. I've been thinking all kind of things to do with these crazy pages. But everything I was thinking about would take me forever to do one page. And that's not the point of this. We're not supposed to create a finished art, a work of art. It's supposed to be a background for someone else to add their own touch to it. Uh, okay, we're starting to get a little icky, a little sticky. I'm gonna flip this paper over a little bit or fold it just so I don't want to fold it just these are my paint drop papers I'll put a link to uh, Chelsea's video that will show you how, how she did her pages as far as I know I think she's the only one that's come up with a video so far and as uh, the girls add more videos, I will edit mine and put their links below so you can watch them do their versions. Uh, okay, you know, this time I'm gonna try go sideways and see how that looks. Wow, interesting. I made some kind of a purple. But it might get a little too muddy, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna straighten it out again. Oh, and I got some orange on that one. Oh, this one came out nice. I also like I like using these putty knives because it's got a good handle. And these are cheap. I got these at the dollar store. And you get three or four of them in the pack. They're different sizes. There's this one smaller than one than this, and there's another one, a, a wider one than this, and I don't know where it is, or else I'd be using that one too. Or you can use a cake knife. A cake knife would probably work just as well. Okay, let's see, we're gonna do, I need more yellow. Yellow, red, and white. Okay, this yellow is turning a little bit on the brown. So I'm going to go more to the blue and white part. I'm trying to get all the way to the edge. Here we go. To the edge and green and yellow right here. I still have uh, three, a few more to go. So it's not to bore you to death. I'll do those uh, off camera. 
And I'm going to pick up the first one I did here. I believe it was this one. Let's hold on a second. No, this is this is the first one I did. So it's not quite dry yet. Let me see. This one's more dry. All right, we do it on this one. So once you you get it about as you know dry enough to the touch, it doesn't have to be completely dry. You look at what you got there, and it, do you need something else? That's when you you think, hmm, maybe this, this Celadon green would look good. Maybe right there. Just to lighten it up. And some over here on this end. And some in the middle. And let's see what that makes. And this is uh, adding highlights without using white. All right, I like that. Just has, gives it more of a creamy look. Let me scrape some of that off. And if you put too much on there, you could always add a little bit more I need that red I use that red a lot I just I kind of need a little bit more more red here Now you can't overwork it, but that's okay. If you do, just let it dry and paint on top of it. I like that. Oh, messed that up with my finger. All right, I'm gonna let this one dry. I noticed this one, it got a little creamy. I put too much white. So, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to do, let's see, I was gonna do some gold. This is also folk art trusted quality metallic, antique gold, okay? And I'm gonna put, now while you have this laying here, especially oh, where I'm at is so hot today. I'm just going to lightly mist that with water so it doesn't dry up on me in between papers. And this needs something, some oomph. I don't particularly care. This is the first one I did. Now, the first one you do is probably not going to look the best because of that. So it needs to warm up a little bit with some of this red and yellow. there. Alright, and I'm going to pick up some of this gold. Let's see if I can put the gold right here. And now, gold metallic paint, whether it's craft paint or artist paints, is very thin and translucent. So, whatever you put it on top, you're going to see what's behind it. And it's just going to give it a shimmer. I don't know if you can tell. But that looks pretty. Alright, so I'm going to continue doing this for right now. Finish my papers, let them dry, and the next step will be on my next video. Thank you for watching.